In case you didn't know, All-Star makes incredible catcher's mitts. This is actually ranked number one for flat style. And people absolutely love what they do. They're like a catcher specific brand, which is cool. The problem is that this thing right here costs 450 bucks. A lot of dough. A few weeks ago, we tested this out. It's 130 bucks from All-Star and we kind of hate it. Today, we have the CM5000. This is 34 inches and it's actually $300. Sounds expensive and kind of is, but better than 450. Point is, we're really crossing our fingers that this is also an awesome catcher's mitt because then it's even 150 bucks. Also, I went to a Bulls game last night. All right, let's do a little bit of a warm up with the CM3000 here. Ah, I did not catch that good. Dang, back to back, they aren't sticking, dude. That's why we warm up, I guess. There we go. This is a one hinge break in here and I'm actually going two in the ring finger so there's actually nothing in this index slot at all. So with the one hinge closed, the fingers do a little bit more of the work. The fingers are what just kind of fold over. The thumb doesn't do as much. Our mitt of focus today feels like it's probably a little bit closer to a box break in which means rather than the fingers doing all the work and coming down, it's a little bit more even where the thumb comes up and meets the fingers. And then on your own, you can decide how you want to shape it. I like kind of pulling down on the top of the finger here, and even curling up on the thumb. I don't know, nice shape, I don't know why. We're about to catch with this thing for the first time. I still need to decide if we're gonna go two in the ring finger or just traditional. Technically, I caught it. First catch, definitely showing like, this needs more work, so let's go. No! Second catch shows it needs more work. Let's go. Dude, that was kind of money. I fumbled the first one, missed the second one, and then we caught the third one perfect. Let's go traditional, see what we get. It, it stayed in the pocket, just didn't feel good. Sweet justice that hurt. Should I take this stupid thing off? I think it makes me more athletic, the robe that is. So that hit like directly on the index finger, flew away and it hurt. I don't know how I caught that. All right, I'm ditching this. I'm going two in the ring finger for sure. I'll be honest, the main reason I'm going two in the ring right now is just because it's still somewhat stiff. So it's making it way easier for me to catch. But with almost all my other catcher's mitts, it's just what feels more comfortable anyway. So don't go two in the pinky, two in the ring. I think I'm just gonna muscle out a few more of these just to get the glove more broken in, and then we'll catch up. So here's what I'm thinking. So we originally were trying to compare these two all-stars, but I think we've just quickly learned, you know, box break in, flat. So we're officially gonna change it to our number one box break in. This is the Rawlings CM33. Love this glove. This is like my go-to catcher's mitt. I know a ton of people would agree. Actually, I'm gonna put this thing up. It's like from what pros wear. They did a thing of like who wears what glove as catchers. It's cool. A lot of Rawlings out there. One thing I will point out, it's cool to see a high quality mitt that isn't just the same exact pattern because this is like all All-Star makes. So now they're experimenting with something new. Uh, for anybody who's tried All-Star and said, I don't like it, maybe this is worth trying. I'm gonna tell you by the end of the video, so. All right, this is the Wilson A2K M2. I'm about to do the fastest review you've ever seen because I actually promised that I'd talk more about this glove. That's what I'm doing right now. This is ridiculously deep. Now, when it comes to Wilson, I think this is my favorite catcher's mitt. My problem is, is it's just not good enough to be on the glove list. Nothing that I hate about it, it's just not there. I'm personally only gonna go with an A2K. I'm not a huge fan of A2000s. I like the tech that they put in the A2Ks and makes the palms more comfortable. I like them noticeably more. But in the end, another 100 bucks is a lot of money, so it's not that important. This glove here is actually true to size. It says a 33 and a half inches. It feels like 33 and a half inches. It's gonna fit a two hinge box break in the best, but I cannot stress how deep this glove is. And I'm actually wearing the glove traditional this whole time. So let me be clear. If you want a deep glove, you want a box break in and you like Wilson's, which Wilson's tend to have tighter finger stalls, the Wilson M2 should be heavily considered. I'm gonna take a few with the All-Star we just finished breaking in and then a Rawlings. 
Dude, that feels so much better. A thousand times better. All right, this is exciting. Let's go. A few more. No! Man, maybe I got excited prematurely. Okay, yeah, so like money when you get it in that pocket. This is like twice as deep as the other All-Star, our normal All-Star, the CM3000 or whatever. It's not, it, that's not what it's called. <sighs> no, it is called that. Anyway, edit that out <laughs> or keep it in. <laughs> you know that thing. Yeah. Dude, it's all those ones that are like barely to the left. My, I like, I want to, what I want to do is not go all the way to the side because I want to like not move. So Josh is saying it's almost like the ball wants to funnel to the pocket, like the mitt's doing its job, but because it's not like super broken in, they're just kind of like flying that way. Just giving it a tighter squeeze at this point. There we go. That exact pitch was the ones that were like flying away before. Let's go again. Last one before the Rawlings. That was perfectly in the pocket. That's so frustrating. I wonder if my hand's honestly just like tired. Sounds like such a chump thing to say. One more. I'm doing like the older brother thing. One more. One more. Man, when they hit, they hit. It feels so good. Let's move to our Rawlings. This is the Rawlings. CM33, love this thing. I will say, kind of hate the gold on it, but feels amazing. I just, that's hilarious that it happened first one. Dude, I think my hands are really tired. From breaking that in yesterday, doing more with it this morning. Gosh, I'm such a loser. I love this glove. Oh yeah, I'm going two in the ring, baby. Good catcher's mitts, dude. Like nothing else. Dude, no, oh my. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So much room, I have feel for it. I, could, I can go traditional, ready? Couple traditional. Way more feel for it, like that nailed my finger. It didn't sting, it just was a big thud. Yeah, man, I mean, I'm gonna go two in the ring, but this is just hands down, one of the, like, the best catcher's mint. I'm gonna take it over a flat, but I just am obsessed with that glove. Let's take a couple here. I'm gonna kind of attack the ball a little bit more and truly, truly squeeze past my tired little baby hands. I want this thing to do well, but it's not a bad glove. I can tell you that right now. The All-Star CM5000 isn't bad. <laughs> It's definitely helping that I'm actually kind of attacking the ball a little bit. Gosh. Okay, one more. Pick up the camera. I have some things to say. This is 33 and a half. This is 34. I honestly think they both play true to size. What I want to point out is they feel ridiculously similar. I would assume All-Star's goal was to just like emulate this. And honestly, they're kind of killing it. Say what you will about the actual design. I'm not in love with all like the sharp edges. It's different and new, I don't, I don't like it personally. Both of these mitts feel incredible too in the ring. I love the finger pad on our Rawlings here. It does its job, it's comfortable. I hate the finger pad on this All-Star. Do you see that like fold over here? It's just this like bump in the leather. It doesn't go down flat or smooth. Uh, it doesn't feel comfortable on the glove. It's also just generally a cheaper finger pad. It's just a little piece of leather. Rawlings feels like there's actual padding in it. It's comfortable. Here's what it's ultimately coming down to. These are basically the same glove, okay? When it comes to leather, I'm taking the heart of the hide all day. Don't get an R2G heart of the hide, watch out, okay? Those are just like softer, they're gonna break down. Get a traditional stiffness heart of the hide all day. Cause these are the same price. It's actually kind of crazy when I think about that. They're the same price, hard to hide all day. My thing with this, just non-impressive leather. It's not bad, but it feels really mediocre. A lot of glove companies right now are like quickly making gloves because there's so many manufacturers out there that'll take your money all day. So this kind of falls in line with some of that. I'm just not impressed with it. It's not bad leather. I just want to stress that. It's not bad leather, but for the same price as this hard to hide, all day. Let's actually go weigh the gloves. I just kind of interested to see. I think the All-Star might be lighter. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The Rawlings. Weighing the Rawlings. What are we looking at? One pound, 10.6 ounces. One pound, 10.6. One pound, 10.6. All-Star. One pound, 10.6. One pound, 
I was right. <laughs> okay, so they're literally like the same. If you know you want an all-star, I guess I don't have a reason to say don't get this glove. It's a good glove. I like it. I like its pattern and everything. For everybody else though, just stick with the Rawlings. Absolutely obsessed with this thing. Love it so much. All-star, good job. I would say we want to see like a slightly different version, maybe different leather, but you're probably gonna just like jack the price up a little bit. Um, I understand, you guys have to make money. But if you like the way All-Star sounds and you want a flat style dude, just go watch the video. Like I said, it's our number one ranked flat style break-in for catchers. Love the glove, All-Star's killing it. 450 bucks though.